All right, let's take a look at possible future directions for reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning made a very big splash when it was defeating Go, defeating chess, defeating the computer that, that defeated uh, Kasparov at chess. So there, this, this was one of those moments where AI seemed, seemed nearly superhuman that it could basically play against itself and be able to achieve greater results than any human being. It was completely the new kid on the block until ChatGPT and LLMs showed up. So now there's there's not as much interest in it. I would it's still very very important certainly for things like self-driving cars and and video games for sure. Any case where you have lots and lots of data. So like self-driving cars, Tesla's sending data back to the mothership to, to allow these massive training sets to be generated to, to, to further teach these, these machines. But for business processes, like I work for a life insurance company, we're issuing life insurance policies to people. We can't have it just play reinforcement learning in, the, in real time with these multi hundred thousand dollar policies. So I've never really been able to find an actual application, at least in what I do as far as business. Now, if the data can be simulated, maybe in a market sort of thing where you're back testing and it's running against a simulator, which basically a game is a simulator, you go from big data to infinite data because it can just keep playing against itself and have really as much data as as it needs. That's why things like chess and go, this thing just tears them up because it can play against itself and just get better and better and better. And it's not even playing from the playbook of chess or from go, all these famous openings, Queen's Gambit, great movie by the way. But there's just not there's just not any sort of limit to the amount of data that you have if you're running completely within a video game. If we could somehow simulate maybe a cubic meter of space with a human in there, you could probably do all kinds of things with health conditions and finding cures to diseases, things like that. But since we would have to run the game against, say, a real human, that becomes an issue. Overall, I think if, if you can find something where you can truly simulate it and it's a step-by-step -step process rather than just a detection, this certainly has a lot of potential there. I personally, like I said, have not used, I really have not used reinforcement learning that greatly. We will do kind of human in the loop reinforcement updates to some of our models. And believe me, that can be very, very useful. But the pure, full on, kind of like we're doing with the Atari games and other things, I've not used it a lot, but certainly has great potential if you have that sort of data. It's an important technology in deep learning, so it's, it's important to certainly be aware of it.